Time's Treacherous Towers is a project of mine that I've been working on since December of 2022. It is a fan game of Juke's Towers of Hell, a Roblox hobby game where you climb up 10 floors of a tower filled with obstacles to reach the win pad. The game is known for being very unforgiving considering there are no checkpoints, but TTT wasn't my first attempt at making a JTO fan game. In March of 2020, I decided to start working on my first tower. This tower's name was Tower of Chris's Start. It definitely wasn't the best tower in terms of gameplay, design, and even the name. The tower was also never finished as I never made progress on it after I posted the first devlog. A few days after abandoning the tower, I decided to work on my first fan game, called Chris's Infernal Towers. I started working on it solo, then my friend Odrop decided to join in. The first tower, and only finished one, is Tower of the Start. It was a questionable tower, sadly I don't have access to the place in the studio, so I will be using an old video of mine to review it. The start what? I think that one has tower crossing. What? See, the, no, is this the revamp? No, it's not. It's the pre-revamp. Yeah, no, look. Tower, tower this is the very first. It's, I'm it's on my laptop right now because it's laggy, but I can join in my... Okay, uh, the elevators okay. don't work. Yeah, they definitely do. Everything is broken. No, this is like half revamped. It's like half revamped. Uh, this is the old no, section. No, I don't yeah. think this was a revamped at all. No, it's half revamped, I can tell. I think I don't remember my own first tower. <laughs> Pathetic. This outside section, man. So fun. Okay, the zip- know, everything like... broke. Just don't use client objects. <laughs> They're all broken. This jump is still impossible. How? This jump was still impossible back in the day. Let's go. Okay, and how is it? What were you thinking of with that jump? Like I what, don't... specifically what? Uh, tower of one of the towers of floor ten. It was tower of keyboard okay. eating, I think floor ten. I what speed? Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. You're at the end and not letting. Yeah, hey, I I oh, already. The lighting changer work. Wait, what was the old lobby? What the fuck is this? Chris Inferno Towers Phase 1 had many towers, and a citadel. The citadel was heavily inspired by Tower of Difficulty Triton, Ring 2 of Juke's Towers of Hell. That's fine, we just got out. Small citadel of difficulty. What does that mean? Where's the portal? Where is citadel? Ouch. Oh, it's way up there. Alright. My eyes. The new friendship uh -huh. concept is way better than this, though. God, dude, it's so hard to jump because of how laggy it is. Oh, God. Yeah, one is so bright. At, like, five. We just have 5 minus at 58. I'm at floor 1. Alright, I'm entering floor 2 now. Hold Ugh. on, wait for me. I'll be there, I'll be- I'll There be was there. a 4x1 stick out? What the hell? <laughs> wait, 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 where was it, where was it? Floor, floor 1. Or floor 2. What? Like the start no. of floor 2. The difficulty spike still existed way back. How come that teleporter works, but every other one doesn't? What, what type of- You like- You definitely made this, bro. Look at- <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. The difficulty spike still existed, man. Wait, is there collisions? Ooh. Okay. Wow. Wow. They were always hard. like this. Oh, God. Why is that teleporter? You weren't getting past you just yet. I have a key challenge oh. for you. Good luck. Don't try no clipping. Uh, Tower of Anticlimactic Climbing Segment. Yeah, this is a Tower of Anticlimactic Climbing Reference. Pew! Okay, to medium, we go. To normal. No, this is medium, huh? Ah! I'm fine. Tower of- Tower of- You start off with the Tower of Difficulty Charge reference. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. This is a Tower of Heck reference. Dude, it gets laggier the more you go up. Exactly. Each time I jump, my frames but, drop by 10. Like, what's so laggy here? No, that's a conveyor. This is- this is a- this is a Citadel of Laptop Splitting reference. What type of medium difficulty jump is that? Oh god. Okay. I think I just... You can so skip this entire section. But I'm gonna do it legit because I'm such a good person. Illusions are on. You, you flinged me off. Skill issue. Not exactly. Okay, this this teleport doesn't work, but every single other one does. Okay, still no particle effects. Okay. Imagine how laggy this was in studio. 
Hell will start on the- what's hell? Is that a difficulty? I have no idea. Is it a Jato difficulty? Or a, a mm. kid difficulty? Dude, I, I've always wanted to play uh, that one Remorseless Tower again. Tower of Hearts. Heart shit. I don't know. I don't I'm remember. pretty sure that's- Is that a hard wall hard. hop on a medium tower? Or a wait, hard where? difficulty? Wait. Oh, right here, wall oh, hop! Man. Wall hop section? Be like. Why is there a wall? Okay, thank you. You know, I'm just mm, Difficulty up. spike building, my favorite. Oh god. Activity. Oh, oh! What is that <laughs> unmarked warning? None of these are marked. <laughs> bro, what is this, bro? This is a, that's a corner. It's center. all, it's all misaligned. Everything is misaligned. Oh wow, this is definitely possible. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's go, we're beating it. We're beating Citadel of True Laptop Splitting. Dude, it's so laggy. Each time I jump, I lose. Okay, I'm at 60 FPS, but it's still laggy. I don't understand. It makes no sense. Like, it feels like it's at 10 FPS. But it's whoa, not. Whoa. What? The what? The spinners started lagging. Yeah, they lag a lot. Walking simulator. Okay, this. Us. Uh, <laughs> what? I made the jump. Let's go, guys. I don't care. I am so amazing. <gasps> oh, my God. This is so Ow. Oh, hey, this is the first time I used Morphers. And hopefully the last. Okay. Look yeah. at this. This is a Tower of Difficulty chart reference. Look. Thanks for fleeing me to full one. LOL. LOL. This is literally just Tower of Difficulty chart. What? Look at this. This is Literally insane. Tower of Difficulty chart. <laughs> literally Tower of Difficulty <laughs> chart. Look at this. Dude, what? Look at oh! This oh, dude. Floor. Wait, do you remember this floor? Wait. Dude, this floor was so oh. good. This floor was so good. It was totally not the just the same jump uh over and over again. I completely forgot about this floor though. God, it's so fucking laggy. Intense oh. also had a safety net just like the original old tower of difficulty chart. Uh dude. Not the original, no, the revamp. The revamp. The revamp. Citadel of the What chart. is this gameplay? Dude, I don't why is it all cylinders? Dude, dude, why dude, why dude. are there four spinners? Dude, what dude, why is going... Yeah. One of the we're spinners are missing. We need to heal. We no, we need don't. to heal our slow. No we don't. I here's a whole, a whole trip here. Here's remorseless. Um This looks a lot like a... Lodge? No 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 no. Remorseless it doesn't start there. This is remorseless. N no, it doesn't start there. Like it you went all the way to like the middle segment. I don't care. The spinner is backwards. Why is the spinner backwards? <laughs> it's backwards? Yeah, look. Oh, I think I get it now. These are like the new conveyor, so I think like the kits conflicted with each other. Because we added like 800 kits to the game. Takes so long, man. Okay, and this one's correct. Fine. Oh. Alright, here we are. Uh, this this uh, is literally just tower difficulty chart, but shit here. Where where are you? Where are oh, you? this was a this was a corner clip, I think. No, nah, what? The... No, this is actually tower difficulty chart. What? Where and it's you? misaligned. <laughs> okay, now literally. we're on now we're on insane or soul crushing. No. No, <laughs> no. No difficulty, dude. That jump's actually impossible. What? The... How do I fall off a of one sitter? Hey, I'm surprised you made it here. This is this floor is full of mechanics from J2SEs. Good luck trying to get past it. You 99% won't. Did I ask? Is that a glitch rat, bro? It's a glitch rat. Bro, why is it? Damn what? It. Why did I add this part? <laughs> this is just the old. Wait, you made this? Yeah. Bro. Dude, what is this? No, it's the old. This is literally just nil. Actually, let's move on to the other half. Segment. No, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> this is. This There's is, no way. This is Toto. <laughs> this is literally just a part from Toto, bro. What the hell? Wait, we went the wrong way. What were we doing? Dude, I don't know. I mean, we were like both 10 when we made this, so. Exactly. It's 10 year old brains combining to make the ultimate mm -hmm. JTO gameplay. This was the old uh, Toto 2 that was like extreme. And this was it. Oh my god, look at how fucking long this floor is. Look at all of those. 
We literally just grab tower thinning layers. We just grab the entire thing. No, it's literally just the entire tower thinning layers just spread apart. Exactly. And you have this floor, which is just two halves. The entire thing. We should try beating the entire tower thinning layers parts. I've already beaten it. What? There's just a sm. Is this toes? Where? Where? Where, where is it? Right here, right here. It's it's up. It's up. I think this is just apart from toes. Oh, it is. This is like before. It's like before I beat toes. I think. Man, toes was such a good tower. It gets hated on a lot, but it's so good. Wow, this is such incredible gameplay. Amazing. Let's move on to the next tower thinning layer segment because that's funny, right? The next and final tower in phase one is Tower of Lego Abomination. It was actually constructed IRL using Lego bricks. Tolo was the one and only soul crushing tower in Kit and will probably be the one and only soul crushing tower in Kit because I'm. That was fucking three years ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. Oh this my tower god! Let me guess, I hurting? I hurt a lot. Pain? Pain. Uh, very. Exactly. Dude, of course there's fucking... I think the development on both games ended with both of the uh, recent and fan games, like the both non ttp like i'm pretty sure those ended solely because like like we started building and then suddenly went inactive i left because you said i'm taking a break and then you never came back just like my father okay what is this gameplay i went to get the milk man i apologize you went to get the milk and i quit like right after because i knew you weren't coming back why oh. did you why did you leave anyways I was getting bored. I simply needed excuses. See, I think I think TTT is gonna be way better than this, but exactly. That's right. Chris Inferno Towers Phase Two was announced on April twenty fourth, twenty twenty. Phase 2 added a new lobby, 11 new towers, 1 revamped tower, and only 3 of them are playable. <laughs> Alright, so this is the revamped tower of the start. As you can see, things are basically the same until floor 2, uh, where the outside, this part, got changed completely. There's now an inside section, which is just a bunch of walking, walking, walking. And this is actually a ladder, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know it's shaped like a part. And this is pretty much the fucking same. You go up here, boo boo, completely different. You got this, then you got wow, 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 you know, you gotta go whoop, and then you go whoop, and then you go up, right? you right, you go up, you go in this box, and then you go to the final outside. Which was actually never shown off, and now that was the gameplay for this floor, but you know what? And there's not, you're not really missing much. But uh, this part is pretty much just TBK, and when Ojob made it, he was literally like, you know what? Rotated gameplay is just so much better than regular gameplay. And. He's right, but this rotation is not what they meant. <laughs> um, but it, like, could you imagine if Ojar kept going down this route? Like, this dude would make 35 different TBKs and just call it the best ever. But yeah, that's it for the revamp on to uh, TX. All right, this is Tower of Section. It's uh, you know, as you can see, the best tower in the world. It has the best gameplay ever and it's so great. It's just so amazing. And it's totally not expired in the fucking expired. It's totally not inspired by a tower of um <clears throat> tower of uh extreme distortion tower of ex something dystopia, I don't I don't remember. Guys, okay, it's it's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. Uh, alright, so you go up here, do some rafts, this is just Tower of, um, Frightening Nightmares, yep, yeah, pretty much, and then, whoosh, that teleporter worked, yo, wait, what, things are working? Alright, not that, okay, and then up here, we got Floor 2, which is literally just Floor 2 Tower Confusion, it's like, what the fuck is that? 
you go up. Yeah, I mean that's that's basically it. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. Floor two tower confusion, guys. All right, this is top heart racing revamp, which was the remorses that I wanted to play. Um, in the footage for the first phase, but sadly, yeah, that thing's lost to time, so I was never able to play it. But we got this, which is honestly shittier. Like, I, I don't know who came up with this, but I know I didn't make the gameplay, so it's very nice, you know. <laughs> Not that bad. Uh, honestly, I do have to give it props because for a kit tower, this is this is like really good <laughs> for a kit tower. Okay, I'm not I'm not that shitty, all right. But yeah, I mean it was definitely praised by me and Ojob. Well, I'm not sure if Ojob praised it, but I did. Shit. Oh fuck! Where do you go? Here. Okay. So, it's not too long, as this game was abandoned, like, pretty quickly. We were only working on it for, like, a month. Uh, this was also made by Zerg the Tryhard. You probably don't know. He might. He's friends with Zack the Tryhard. Yeah. He's, uh, the friend of Zack. Can we stop trying to do that, right? But, yeah, I mean... Shit, this is this is it. This is how part racing the revamp. Uh, I honestly prefer the ori ori original. I remember being much better than this. Because uh, this doesn't even like keep the same spirit. This is just like called the revamp just to be a revamp, you know? Oh, that wasn't it. Hold on. There was also no heal tool. I don't know why. I just never added the heal. What the fuck? Is this possible? Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Right, that might be possible. Maybe I gotta go, like, go out with this. Yeah, that's that might be possible. I don't know. Probably not. After a year of basically nothing, we decided to work in a ring select to get the game ready for release. Until a few hours later, when I opened the game and found this no order that left us. After this news, I stopped caring about Kit. I never worked on it and I played Geometry Dash instead. Like a real good. Two years later, on March 21st, 2022, I posted an image of a tower called Tower of Bending Horror, which was great news. But, a greater news was that Odra was back and Nevzar, who helped us with the new game, Honey's Towers of Hell. You might be wondering who Honey is, and to answer your question, it was me. I was Honey. That same day, many things would be accomplished for Ishto. Things like the lobby, confirmed towers, and even Jack the salesman, who was like Ishto's slam -o. The next day, Nevzar got removed from the dev team. I don't remember why, but I think it was because we argued about ideas a lot. After that, I didn't post any information about the game until April 4th, 2022, where I posted a leak about an upcoming tower, Tower of Burnt Ruins. It would later be abandoned along with the game. On December 10th, 2022, I posted an image of JTO Ripoff 22 Tower and renamed the server to JTO Ripoff 22. That same day, I posted a gameplay of the tower, which is hard to see. I'm sorry about that. Later that day, the tower was officially named Tower of Anticlimactic Climbing. With the new name comes a new portal and a new lobby. The next day, I posted a video showcasing the first two floors of TOAC. The next day, Floor 2 was finished in TOAC, and Floor 3 was started. I also added a difficulty chart room to the lobby. On December 16th, 2022, I remade the portal for TOAC and set the lobby in space. Six days later, beginner towers and advanced towers were added to the lobby. So were trees. Four days after that, the mountain, also known as Mount Pablo, would be added to the lobby housing TOAC and the psychologically unsafe towers. 
but things would change a day later when Mount Pablo and TOAC both get announced for revamps. I need pickaxe. Yeah. Oh, uh, how do I get up? Bro, what? Why is my sensitivity so low all of a sudden? Okay, nice. Here we go. I didn't even press the button. Alright. Four three. So this is the new four three. Um, I'll c I'll compare the old one versus the new one since the old one is right outside. Okay, that's a pretty nice jump. Where the fuck do I go? Do you have to go inside. Oh god. I hate. Okay, th these are all old forward three offenses, and I love every single one. Ugh. Okay, now what? Let's get up. Oh, I didn't even see that. Still? I swear. Dude, my sensitivity is so, like, changing. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I suck. Okay. It's not my fault, alright? It's just that Jacob kind of tried. Bro, oh. <laughs> dude, I suck. I'm literally the worst shape of all. After floor three was finished, me and Ojop lost motivation to build it, and it sat there untouched for six months. While me and Ojop were building TOAC, a new developer, Strawberry, was creating Tower of Warp Zones. Tower of Warp Zones would end up being finished three days after its announcement. A month or so later, Tower of Warp Zones would end up being deconfirmed due to it not being ready. Anyways, back to the lobby. Cat therapy was added along with intermediate towers and a new tower, the Tower of Industrial Uprising by Strawberry. The tower would be finished a month after its announcement, but unlike Tau's, this tower didn't get deconfirmed. It had a much, much worse fate. TYU failed to free Frigato, and the difficulty was off by a large amount. This caused Strawberry to revamp the tower later in the year. It was another tower at the start of TTT. Tower standing beginnings by me, Zin, Stro, and Odra. You're probably wondering who Zin is. At the time of Tao's being made, we invited Zin to develop TOSB with us. Zin will be important later, but for now, let's focus on TOSB.
In March of 2023, TTT had a mascot, Grellman. Grellman appeared in Tower of Setting Your Limits, which was abandoned quickly. During this time, the lobby was being revamped and Zin was creating a new tower, Tower of a Fractured Duality. As with today, December 31st, 2023, TOAFD would be the only finished tower, although some are close behind. TOAC would have its difficulty bumped to extreme, and there would be another soul crushing tower, Tower of Twisted Ascension. Sadly, the tower would never be worked on. Time Treachery Tower is my favorite yacht game zing. I am a legal bit. Fuck, 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 time section, god, oh, fuck. I'm passing through the timer section. I will get the tower point. I did it, the tower game. I finished the tower. On May 6th, 2023, TUAFD would be officially complete and so will the lobby. Although the lobby is not actually complete, the lobby will end up being unused later in the year. On June 9th, 2023, TOSB will have officially started being revamped. After this announcement, no progress will be made until late November. TOAC V3 was announced on July 26, 2023. The tower won't be worked on until 2024. TYU is also getting its revamp during this time. Six floors were finished and the seventh was finished in the secret. On August 15, 2023, Cardman 7 was added to the dev team since Zen left a few days before. Three months later, on November 24, 2023, the lobby would be remade for the third time by Cardman 7. During that time, I decided to revamp TUSB by myself. I ended up finishing Floor 1 two days later. Floor 7 of TUSB would be complete on December 20, 2023. Many more things would happen in December, including two new towers. Citadel Peculiar Sections would have nine floors finished, and Tower of Sigma Pibby Riz, the name is not done, would have three floors finished. For the future of TTT in 2024, TUSB, TYU, Citadel Peculiar Sections, and the lobby will be 100% complete. TOAC will be at least halfway finished, and Tower of Sigma Pibby Riz will also be finished. Dimension 1 could release next year, but no promises. Special thanks to Ojop for helping me with the script. Have a good day.